Good evening. A piece of aviation history is flying around Erie this weekend as one of the few operational B-17 aircrafts from World War II comes to town. It's our top story tonight at 6 o'clock. Jordan Guerin took a ride on board Aluminum Overcast this afternoon. Beautiful day for it. He joins us now live from North Coast Flight School. Sean and Jill, good evening. It was a beautiful afternoon for this flight. I can't emphasize how cool this was going up in this plane here. This is one of 10 operational B-17s from World War II. Erie will have the chance to take flight this weekend aboard one of the few remaining operational B-17 aircrafts from World War II. We took a brief flight this Thursday, flying 1,000 feet in the air above Erie, going out east towards Lawrence Park and heading back westbound along the lake. The airplane's owned by the EAA, which is the Experimental Aircraft Association, and we all volunteer for about two weeks at a time. Go out. We're kind of an ambassador for the EAA. We're also out to honor the veterans and keep all history alive. We like to come out here, travel the country, and as a reminder of what these people went through. The aluminum overcast will be on display for the public throughout the weekend for a chance to experience a piece of military history up close and will be featured as part of North Coast Flight School's annual open house. On May 18, 1945, the aluminum overcast came out of the factory, but towards the end of the war, so it did not see any combat, but it's been flying for the past 20 years. AEAA spent about 10 years bringing it back to wartime configuration because all the time it was doing its, its workhorse years, it never had any guns or anything on it. So EAA got it back to wartime configuration, and now we travel around with it. The plane served as a cargo hauler, aerial mapper, and even a fire ant sprayer until a private owner bought the plane, and it was later donated to the EAA. Right. The EAA invited Pittsburgh native Mike Schwab along to experience the flight as Schwab's uncle flew on a similar B-17 during World War II. Yeah. Hear the sights and sounds and the smells of everything, you know, just a little taste of what he went through and being an ex-Air Force myself, you know, it's a little extra connection. Well, the B-17 in particular is is generally considered to be the airplane that, that was responsible for winning World War II. Now, Sean, I hope Tom's got a good forecast lined up for us here this weekend because the B-17 will be here Friday through Sunday and especially on Saturday for North Coast Flight School's open house. If you want to take a ride up in the B-17, you can visit their website, b17.org, or you can come right to the field here and sign up. Sean? Yeah, what a great plane. Uh, fingers crossed about that weather. Thank you, Jordan.